Welcome to the Plants vs. Zombies 2 Power Plants update. This is a hugely exciting new feature for us, where for the first time, you're going to be able to grow your plants in an entirely new way. They'll become more powerful, more versatile, and let you solve threats like you've never been able to before. My name is John Stummy. I'm the lead game designer on Plants vs. Zombies 2, and now we're going to jump in and take a look at how you can level up your plants. So first off, we're going to go to the Almanac, and you'll see there's some new information that we're showing on this screen. If you take a look at the Sunflower, underneath, you'll see that there's a bar now that's displaying 10 out of 25. What this is counting is your experience before your plant is ready to level up, and you'll gain that experience by accruing seed packets. And if you want to know where to find them, you can just tap on the Find More button, and here it's going to tell you that you can complete Ancient Egypt quests in the travelogue in order to win pinatas that'll award seed packets. So if I go into the travel log, you see we've got some new quests here that are on timers that guarantee pinatas as a reward. They'll be available every four hours, so you have plenty of opportunities to earn pinatas each day. We can also gain pinatas by going through the store. Now first you're just gonna punch it right in the face. We'll get some coins out of it, and now we'll start collecting seed packets. As you can see, we've got one here for the sunbeam, and you'll see it counting up on its level progress. We also earned a bonus seed packet for our sweet potato. You can jump back into the almanac, and you'll see the pea shooter here is all good to go. If you look at its recharge and its damage, you'll see that there's an extra green bar here, which is showing how much you're going to gain by upgrading. So if we go ahead and hit the upgrade button, there you go. It's just that easy. Already you've got a pea shooter that's going to be faster to get on the board, and it's going to deal more damage. And so now that we've seen how to upgrade your plants, let's talk about why you want to upgrade your plants. There's a lot of awesome things that'll come out of this. Now, each of your plant's parameters have a chance to upgrade as part of this process. And that includes things like damage. Some of your plants will also gain more health. For example, your walnuts or other wall-type plants will become more resilient against threats. Other plants will also gain refresh rates that go down. You'll be able to get them on the board faster, so you can respond to threats quicker. Some plants will become cheaper in terms of their sun cost, so you can get them out a little bit earlier, and your sun-producing plants will in turn generate more. Some plants will even get upgrades to their plant food abilities, and some plants may gain entirely new functionality as part of their upgrade path. One of the things that we really want to do with this update is encourage diversity in the builds that you are bringing. So a good example of this is the potato mine and the primal potato mine. The potato mine will gain added functionality to its plant food effect that lets it generate more copies across the board, where the primal potato mine will focus more on a bigger explosion. So one of these helps you take down more threats for waves that are bigger, more distributed, and one of them helps you take out bigger, more concentrated threats. And these are the kinds of things that you'll see happening to all of your plants through plant progression to make sure that each of your favorites has a niche to fill and something that they offer you. In one of our recent updates, we unlocked all the worlds. That means anyone can come in and experience any of the different 11 worlds that PVZ2 has to offer. But if you've gotten into one of the later worlds and found that you were having trouble getting past some of the levels, through the Power Plants update, you'll now be able to go back and invest in your plants and overcome with overwhelmingly force where you couldn't before. So you'll be able to get through more of a content, see more of what the game has to offer. And if you've already gone through these levels, being able to go back and and invest in your plants now is going to give you a leg up for content that's still yet to come. Thanks for watching, and this is just the first of many exciting updates to come, so please look forward to it.